Hey guys, I'm back with another video and I'm making a spoon. The one I have now is pretty chewed up and is far from straight. I'm starting with a block about 13 inches long, one inch thick and about three inches wide. The new one I'm making is about the same size as the old one, so I'm using that as a template or you can just Google a spoon template and use that. And I just used my bandsaw to cut out the rough shape of the spoon. All right, now here's a little bit of a industry secret. Maybe the sketchiest and most dangerous part of this whole thing, but if you can tip the spoon on its side, the bandsaw does a really good job at shaping all of those nice curves. All right, you just want to make sure you don't twist it as you're putting it through. Once the blade will just latch on and yank that sucker straight down into the table. Now I'm taking what I just cut out on my bandsaw and I'm putting it into the vise so I can start to carve out the bowl of the spoon. I'm using Wood River Chisels, that's the brand, to do the carving. Now I have links for these in the description along with all the other tools I'm using. Spoons really aren't that hard to make as long as you have the right tools. And you lucky duckies have this whole video on how to make them and a bunch of links for all the tools to get you started. Right here, I got a little ahead of myself, and as you can see, the wood started to chip up and almost took out the edge of the spoon. That's something to be mindful of. I actually did end up chipping out the side of my spoon, uh, as you'll see later in the video, but you know, that's what, that's what makes my, uh, my spoon a little unique, a little special. This is definitely the most time consuming part of the whole process. Uh, once you get comfortable with it though, uh, using the chisel, it'll start to move a little quicker, and you can just put some good music in, listen to that as you pound away. Once you've chiseled as deep as you want to go, there's this weird scrapey thingy that I used to smooth out the bowl. It'll help get rid of those ridges that the chisel's left, but it'll give your spoon a nice consistent curve in the bowl. Once I got the bowl finished up, I went back to the bandsaw to shave off a little more of the excess wood on the bottom of the bowl to save time on sanding because sanding sucks. All right, another little industry secret. You can drag the spoon across like the edge of the blade and the teeth will kind of catch the end of that and it does a really good job at shaping and you can really take off a lot of material. All right, now for my favorite part of the whole process. Not really, I hate sanding. Uh, I'm using the belt sander to give my spoon some nice curves. Just check the thickness every now and then, like using your fingers to make sure you don't sand a hole in the bottom of the spoon. I've never tried using a spoon with a hole in it. I don't think it worked that well, but then again, I've never tried. So I guess I don't know for sure. All right, time for another little secret. You guys are just getting all the secrets today. You can blow off the sandpaper and it'll help when sanding because sometimes dust fills out the space between the pieces of sand and it won't sand as well. And some more sanding. I'm just using 120 and 220 grit sandpaper. I don't know about you, but I like my spoons nice and smooth. All right, now, if you look closely on the edge of that spoon, you can see that there's some waves there, and I don't want that, so I'm gonna take those off with some more sanding. All right, now I know you guys probably won't believe it, but I have another secret for you. One thing I like to do on all my projects is blow it all off, get all the dust out of the cracks and everything like that, because when I put the finish on, I want it to absorb into the wood and not that dumb dust that's stuck in it. All right, finally, I like to put plastic wrap down as you can see, my table is really dirty and there's lots of stains on it. So by putting plastic wrap down, it keeps the mineral oil from touching the table and also lets the spoon absorb more. And that's why I do that. All right, you really just wanna lather that John up with mineral oil, get them everywhere. Don't be shy with it. It'll soak up a lot. Now just wrap it up, set it off the side and let it sit overnight somewhere and then in the morning, you can pick it up and unwrap it, and boom, you have a spoon. 
Like I said earlier, spoons are super easy to make. And once you get good at it, you can make it in about an hour. It took me about two hours, but then again, I'm not that good at making spoons. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video and have a great rest of your day. I'm out.